In recent decades, Ireland has become one of the most expensive countries in Europe. Recent increases in fuel, food, rent and energy has left many workers with little disposable income. On Saturday, people took to the streets in Dublin to express their anger, including pensioners who are really feeling the squeeze. We have a levy on our pensions to make up for the money that was stolen out of our pensions by the government. What is happening now is we're suffering state-sponsored elder financial abuse. All professions are affected by the rising cost of living and many nurses are leaving the sector. Well, right now we're finding it's very difficult to retain nurses and midwives, particularly in large urban centres where the cost of rent is taking well over 50% of their wages. And then we have uh, a huge issue with recruiting nurses from non-EU countries who come here. They look at a salary, they make big life decisions, and then they realise they're paying more than 50% of that in rent, in transport, and then the added problem of not having available accommodation close to where they work. Even public servants who actually work for the government are struggling to make ends meet due to the cost of living crisis. For many of our members who are in lower pay scale groupings, uh, the reality is rent, for instance, has become a major problem in this country. Housing is a major problem. Young workers that I represent simply cannot afford either to pay the rents or to save the money to purchase their own properties. And then that has been compounded by the increase in foodstuffs, in the cost of energy. The organisers of this nationwide protest say an emergency budget from the government is crucial just to stop an already difficult situation getting worse. People have already lost thousands in income. We have record numbers of people uh, who are homeless. We have people making choices between heating uh, and food. We need an urgent package of measures to deal with the cost of housing and rents, the cost of basic goods and energy, uh, and to ensure that pay and income increases match the spiralling cost of inflation. This protest is taking place here in Dublin as growing numbers of Irish people become increasingly angry about the rising cost of living and the decreasing amount of disposable income in their pockets. The signs are that if the Irish government doesn't introduce a mini-budget soon, these protests will continue over and over as the winter draws in. This is Ken Murray for Euronews in Dublin.